so today I'm going to be sharing with you this makeup look. It's just the perfect go-to summer look for me. It's really fresh and really quick to do. I can do this whole look in like five minutes when I'm not doing it in front of a camera, obviously. But it's just really fresh, uses um, really easy makeup, and I know it's very, very simple, and you probably didn't need a tutorial for it, but I've been getting a lot of questions about it, and so I figured I would just do it for you. My quick summer five minute um, makeup little look for you guys. It's just really fresh, looks really young and vibrant, so I love it. I hope you guys do, and stay tuned if you want to see how I get this fresh summer face of makeup. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is just like apply a lip balm just to keep my lips hydrated from the start. Uh, all I have on to start with is just my Daily Face Moisturizer and eye cream. That's all I have on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Garnier Skin Renew um, Roller Ball that I absolutely love. I love just putting this underneath my dark circles. It just kind of is really refreshing. Gives a little pigment and deep puffs and stuff like that. Also, sorry if I'm looking this way, I have a mirror over here and the viewfinder is right there, so. That's why I'm looking that way. So I'm just going to let that sit for a little while um, and shake up my BB cream. I'm using the Garnier um, Skin Renew Medium Deep. This is the oily skin version. I'm just going to go ahead and shake it up because I find it can be kind of runny. But I absolutely love this stuff. So this is like my go-to look for the summertime. It's really quick and easy, I swear. I just like to let this sit so it kind of like hardens. Not hardens, but sets a little bit better and is easier to blend out. Um... And I know it looks really light against my skin. First of all, I'm pretty tan. And second of all, it just, um, it blends nicely when um, everything is blended over the top of it. And I like like a lighter under eye. Not super light by any means, but I just go ahead and pat that in. Then I'm going to go in with my BB cream. Once it's all shaken up, I put just a small amount. Oop, it's like so runny. It wouldn't, it, you don't think it would be runny with like how good it covers and stuff. So I just put like a small amount on there like that. And then I go ahead and dab it all over my face. I run it between my two fingers and just kind of pat it. Starting towards the inner part of my face where I need the most coverage. And then forehead, I don't really have very much problems. And then just rub the rest down the skin. I mean down the neck. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Sigma F80 flat type Kabuki brush and just kind of buff it out. I absolutely love this BB cream. It is perfect for my oily skin. It provides great coverage. And it looks just like skin. Like, I know a lot of people say that, and I'm like, okay. I've never had a foundation that looks just like skin. But this stuff literally mimics my skin perfectly. It's very close to the L'Oreal, yeah, the L'Oreal BB cream that I love so much. The Magic Skin Beautifier. But... This stuff is amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and as you can see I just have a little bit. I just put a little extra coverage around the center of my face like around my nose and stuff. Um, you could always use concealer but I would rather just use the BB cream. So I just put an extra coat. Layer. Layer. Coat. Whatever. Right around that part of my face and brush to blend out. I absolutely love this stuff. It's kind of looking a little shiny on camera, but I swear that it's not. Like, it's so matte. It's crazy. I love it. Okay, so once that's done, I don't really need to set it with a powder, but I'm going to just because um, on summery days when I'm outside, I'll need it. But I don't even use my D-Slick with this, my makeup setting spray D-Slick, because... I don't find that I need to, and I like the finish of this, but I am going to go in just a little bit with this Rim, I mean Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I'm in the color Sand, I think. I'm going to go on my e.l.f. Kabuki and just press it right into the skin. And that's it. Like, honestly, I don't like, sorry I feel, I sound so nasally, I feel like, but... I don't like to put a little pow lot of powder on it because it already has like a perfect finish and it keeps pretty matte for me out throughout the day. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with bronzer. I'm already pretty bronzed, but I like to just make my skin look really bronzy. So I'm going to go in with Benefits Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to go in with this um, Flawless Face by Bare Minerals. It's basically just like a paddle brush. I just really like it for applying this. Put a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and contour slightly just underneath my cheekbones. And then right along my hairline. And 
done my nose and then heavily down my chin like I do my neckline my jawline and then I blend the rest down my neck this gives a really pretty um, natural bronze look to the skin. I love Benefits Hula Bronzer. It's amazing. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go back in with my Elf Kabuki and just make sure that everything's blended out because I don't want anything too harsh. So that's that. Then I go in to do my eyebrows and I think that if you're doing a really simple summer makeup look, eyebrows can be pretty important because it kind of just makes the look look a lot crisper and cleaner. So I'm just going to go in with my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit in the color light with my Anastasia Brow Power, I mean Brow Brush. I'm going to go ahead and just start by brushing my brows into place to kind of see what I'm working with and then just fill in the rest. Um, I like a pretty defined brow so that's just how I fill them in. You don't need to fill them in this much if you don't like to but I'm just going to go ahead and use my little mirror and fill in the tops. Get a good little arch going there. I do a combination between the lightest and the darkest color towards the outer half and then just the lightest color towards the inner um, so it's not as dark. And I'm going to go ahead and just finish by combing through. I don't set my brows with a gel because I just don't think that I need to. I don't know. They just don't go anywhere for me so I just kind of just leave them, let them do their own thing. Um, because I trim them, so yeah. If you guys want to see kind of like a full brow, like how I groom them and maintain them just like at home and stuff, let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you. Anyways, let's move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to go ahead and go on with blush. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Studio Blush in the color. I think it's Pink, pink Passion. It's such a bright, beautiful pink. Love this I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Complexion Brush. It's a big, flat paddle brush, and it works perfectly for distributing like a really pigmented blush. So put a little bit on. A little bit goes a long way, and I just go ahead and pat it on the apples of my cheeks. Now, I'll, like, warn you guys now that it always looks way brighter in the camera because I have, like, a setting that kind of, like, brings out colors way more than um, in real life. So it might look like I wear a lot of blush in camera, but I swear, in real life, it's not that bad. It's just, like, a light flush. So, um, yeah, I really like it, though. It's really a fresh, um, girly look, and it's so pretty. So... Once I have my blush on, again, I go in with just my Kukibuki brush and just kind of blend so that everything just blends and it doesn't look like you're wearing like too much makeup. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my highlighter. I'm using Benefits High Beam. It's just a really nice liquidy, um, beautiful highlight. So I'm just going to dab that down my nose, rub it in with my finger, keep it bow. And then just on my cheekbones. This makeup look honestly takes me like five minutes if I'm not like, you know, showing everything and doing everything for the camera, I swear. It doesn't take very long at all. And then I'm also just going to put it above my brow bone. I mean my eyebrow. I don't know why. I've just always done this. And yeah, I just think it gives like a more defined eyebrow and a little more light to the face. So that's all I do for highlighting. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the really simple eyes. I'm just going to be taking and defining my brow, my eyes just a little bit with a lighter color. I'm going to be using the Anastasia um, Eye Lights Matte in the color Chamomile. It's just a white, I mean like a lightish pink kind of pencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is just put it underneath my brow bone. I mean underneath on my brow bone underneath my eyebrow. That's just going to like define and raise the eyebrow just a little bit. And it's really, really soft because it's matte. So just again, this can be super pigmented, but I just like to lightly apply it like that. And then I go ahead and just pop it on the inner corners very lightly because I don't like the look of super bright inner corners. I just don't think it looks that good on me. So that's all I do for eye brightening. I just basically... Highlight some features on my face. If I wanted to, I would put like a matte brown in the crease, but for day, I'm just literally going all natural. So next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I don't always curl my eyelashes, but I've been trying it a little bit since I've been home and I found this in my mom's collection. It's my Sephora and it's just an eyelash curler. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and put a couple coats of the um, Maybelline Big Eyes, the Falsies Big Eyes. I love this stuff. I'm just going to be using the top one on both top and bottom lash line, and I will be right back because this takes a little while for me to actually put on my mascara. <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like once I have mascara on. I think mascara is like the crucial part of this look, basically. It's just really fresh and gives you a really like bright-eyed look when you have mascara on. So next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go in with a lip tint, and I just found this like chilling around my room. Any lip tint would work. This is just um. It looks like a benefit, but it's not. It's just like a, a red lip tint. So I really like applying a lip tint because it just gives you a really nice fresh look and it's um, like stays a while. So I already have my chapstick on, so my lips are nice and hydrated. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit with the brush. Nothing too crazy because I don't really like a lot of color on my lip. I just like a nice natural... Lip look, I guess. Okay, so that is the finished look. It's just really, really simple, nice, fresh, bright for the summer, and I think it's a really girly and classic put together, but literally it takes you five minutes in the morning. I swear this is just a really long, drawn out video because I had to explain everything, but if you just break it down, it takes like no time at all, and I know it's really simple. You might not have needed a tutorial for it, but a lot of you guys were asking, and so I figured I would just do it for you guys. So, I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful summer, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, love you guys.